Uh, hi, I'm Jack Maddens. I am the Government Partnerships Manager at Code for America. Um, and I'm going to answer the question, uh, why does civic hacking matter? Um, so civic hacking, for those of you who don't know, is uh, generally a movement that has sprung up in the United States and around the world over the past uh, five years. And the most durable manifestation of technologists deciding to work on civic good projects has been the hackathon. Uh, the hackathon is often something that is a uh, weekend or multi-weekend uh, event uh, where uh, technologists, developers, designers, data scientists come together uh, to try and put their tech skills uh, to use against um, civic problems. Um, oftentimes there can be government there, oftentimes there can be nonprofits and uh, social change experts there as well, and other subject matter experts. And oftentimes we hear a criticism about um, what's being built in these uh, in these events. What are this what is all this challenge prize money going to? Um, and I would argue that hackathons uh, don't primarily build applications, they primarily uh, build community, um, and while that might sign, sound kind of trite and, 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 uh, and uh, wishy-washy, uh, I think it's really important uh, insofar as we're creating new spaces uh, out of which there haven't ever been a reliable space for uh, technology and government to intermingle, and if we have any chance of getting, um, of making sure that government attaches itself uh, to all of the technological breakthroughs we've seen in the consumer rep, it's going to take, it's going to be about people. And it's going to be about bringing them together and doing the civic spitballing that we see in these hackathon spaces. Um, and also what it comes down to is around connecting the geeks in government uh, with the geeks in technology and having put on so many of these events and seen instances where, you know, the environmental services manager of Oakland is describing the way that he goes on site visits to see who is composting or not and seeing everyone kind of uh, move up in their chairs to hear about these sort of problems just shows me that it contributes to uh, a fabric uh, that is being woven around the uh, civic problem solving and the understanding of the way that government works that's going to contribute to the way people um, think about their own government and think about their own advocacy.